Hi everyone, this is Ginger with My Sister Scrapper. Here's my Graphic 45 mixed combination of Graphic 45 papers um, mini album that I made. I had a bunch of leftover um, paper from Graphic 45 and all their papers are fabulous. So I just wanted to make another little mini album um, envelope. This is an envelope mini. So um, here's what I did. And these are the handmade envelopes. Um, it, the binding is the rubber band or the hair band binding. Um, and I got some sheer ribbon on the end, on tied around it, and I got a couple of charms. This one's just a medallion that I got, and then this one is a little uh, charm that says create. It has a little bling on the top of it, and I got this from. Um, the girls papery. I got a little tool poofy thing going on here and on the cover I have um, a little swirl flourish that I cut out on my Cricut and I glimmer misted a lot on this album so it's real glitzy and glimmery and I don't know if it shows up in the camera but um, so this little flourish I cut out on my Cricut and um, got a couple of butterflies here from Martha Stewart's Monarch Butterfly Punch I love that punch, but it's kind of hard to use. It's hard to punch through, but it's a great punch. I love it. Um, another little label that I cut out on my Cricut and a little um, scallop circle that I punched. And this is a um, Tim Holtz stick pen that I made. I put a couple of beads on it. A memo pen, I mean. And in the background here, um, this is a piece of paper from the Renaissance Fair collection. And I have a little heart-shaped doily that I kind of grunged up and sprayed with glimmer mist. And um, I inked the edges and kind of curled the edges on the top of it as well when I glued it down. Um, and then I have a little uh, paper clip here from Staples. And a little grunge piece tag with a little metal X on it. And a Tim Holtz um, book plate that I cut a piece of... Um, paper that said graphic 45 and I put that in there and I put some glossy accents on top of it and then um, underneath the book plate and I don't know if you can see it or not but it's a little piece of the paper from the fashionista collection and there's uh, she's wearing it's a little pair of her shoes that you can see sticking out there so right here I have a little um, tag from the Le Romantique collection and then here's um, a little newspaper ad from one of the collections and like I said, this is just a combination of everything Graphic 45. <laughs> so we open that with the cover. And I actually made a cover for this album. Um, instead of just using the envelope for the cover, I made a separate little cover out of some chipboard. And I did edge it with some lace. So on the inside cover, I made a little tag here from the Graphic 45 Le Romantique. Put a button through there. Um, and this paper, I think I've, I'd made this tag quite a while ago and I never used it, but I think this back paper is from, um, that cuts with the view Mariposa. And here's another little charm and a little, um, pen from Tim Holtz. And then another little tag that I cut out from the paper. Again, this is from the Renaissance Fair collection. So the inside cover is just plain and then I have a little metal, um, corner that's actually a brad. So for the first page, um, all the pocket, the, again, this is an envelope album and I made the envelopes and they all are Velcroed. Um, I have some pretty lace here with some flat back pearls and a grunge flourish, some Prima flowers that I glimmer misted and a little button that I um, put some alcohol ink on to darken it up a little bit and a piece of paper from the Fashionista collection here, some satin ribbon and some more flat back pearls. And then on the inside, here's the tags, and I just made them plain just for photos since there's a lot going on like on the um, envelopes. You can do photos and journaling on the inside tags. And on this page, um, this has a couple of pockets going on here. I put some black velvet rickrack and um, a piece of lace here, and I made a pocket, and inside this little pocket is this little fold-out. Um, that I made. It has a little sticker from the Graphic 45 Staples sticker sheet. 
and then um, just accordion folds this way. And these are from the trans transatlantic paper line, these here, and then these urns are from the Renaissance Fair. And then I left them plain on the inside. So that just tucks back in there, and I have another Tim Holtz memo pen, um, and a little uh, newspaper print ad, another little Prima Flower with a Brad, and then there's a couple of tags in here from the Fashionista collection. Love this. Love this paper. And I did put some glossy accents, I don't know if you can see it or not on the corners as well as on the um, tag there. And then on the next page, um, again I made a little pocket here and I have a um, another one of the musical paper clips from Staples. And then this little um, piece here is from uh, Tattered Angels. It's a little railway ticket. This is 1928 on and I thought that was pretty cute. Um, I got a, a lace flower here and I cut out a scallop circle and put a brad in the middle and kind of laid them all together. And then there are, I made a few tags to go inside here. There's a little ad from one of the newspaper, one of the paper lines. Another ad. And here's a tag I made. A journaling spot. And I love this. I just... Loved it. I thought it was cute with just the shoes and the nylons and the open-toed heels. And then on the inside on this tag, um, I put some trim, and this is a little strip of paper from the Proper Gentleman collection, and then this is from the Fashionista collection, and then again the tags are blank on the other side. It's amazing how all the Graphic 45 papers, no matter what the line is, they kind of all coordinate together. And then on this page, I really like this page. I think it turned out kind of neat, these next two pages. Um, what I did here is this is a piece of silk ribbon, and I have a little paper clip here that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then there's a little fold out here. Um, this is actually a chipboard piece from Cosmo Cricut. And then this opens up like this, and these are all from the Proper Gentleman collection. And then on the back. So for tags and photo, or journaling photos, that just folds up like that and sits back in here. And then over here, um, I made one of these multi-pocket tag books, and I attached it to the um, to the page. And I have a little magnetic closure here that I glued a button on, and it's a pretty strong magnet, as you can see. So that opens like that, and then. Um, so what, the way it works is you flip it open here and you have a pocket here. I haven't got my tags done yet, so but these are for tags here. You can put a photo here and this flips open and there's another spot for a tag here and another tag here. And those fold over and you open it this way and you have a spot for tag, tag, and tag, and a photo. And then you flip it back and it opens again this way so you have photos and photos so it's a you get a lot of real estate there to put photos and tags and then it just closes back up like that so i really like that page i think it turned out really cute and this was um a tutorial a couple years ago that i saw on youtube and i can't remember i think it was from her youtube channel was rose s931 or something like that but it's it's been around for a while i'm sure you've seen it it's a great tutorial and then on this page, um, this is a bird cage that I cut out with my Cricut using the Summer in Paris cartridge, I think, I can't remember, don't quote me on that one. And I put a little flower eyelet here at the top and I added some bling to the bird cage and another little uh, monarch butterfly that I punched out and I raised it up on um, some foam tape to give it some dimension. And then another Cricut Flourish. And then um, over here, I didn't use a Velcro closure on this particular tag just because I've got so much going on it and I didn't want to cover up this journaling spot here. But it is adhered down. I got some Prima Flowers that I put some glossy accents on. I added a little Tattered Angel's Key with the memo, using a memo pen. And some silk ribbon and some more lace trim. And then on the inside, another tag. And on this 
page. I loved this section of the paper. I just thought those girls were so pretty. It says flirtatious here. And so I added some lace and some ribbon trim and another little monarch butterfly with glossy accents. And I left this page kind of plain because I really like the paper. Little memo pen with a button on it. And then on this page, I um, added another strip of that paper and I just kind of tore the edges. All the edges of the paper and the tags and everything are all inked with um, vintage photo. And then this little flower is um, actually a white paper flower that I got in the bridal section at Michael's. And I glimmer misted it and then I um, inked the edges and then I glimmer misted it again. And then it was like so poofy so I kind of smooshed it down on the top. And uh, I think it turned out okay. So, lots of glimmer mist and lots of ink. And I got a little piece of tool behind here and another Tim Holtz memo pen. And this is a little tiny acrylic frame that I had. Um, I have no idea where I got it, but it's like a postage stamp, but it's like a little frame. And so I cut a little picture of one of the girls from this paper line. Um, and I put her inside there, and then I put some crackle accents on top of the of the frame inside on the inside, so it's got a crackle finish to it. So that turned out pretty cute. And then here's another little tag from this stickers collection that I just put on um, some foam tape and raised it up to give it some dimension. And a piece of really pretty lace, black velvet lace trim that I got from my sweet little niece, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. You're a sweetie. And then. Um, couple of brads here that are a key in a, a keyhole shape. So those are kind of cute, I thought. And again, Velcro closure and the tags plain on the inside. And over here, I got a lot going on this page. It's kind of a multi-pocketed thing here. I got a tattered angel element that's a little suitcase. And um, I got three little tickets. One says, um, they're all kind of all layered on a little label that I cut for my Cricut. Um, what's this US uh, United States lines it's like a shipping line and so it's got cabin class tourist class and first class so I thought that was kind of cute and then the oceanic line is called Matson. so that's for my sister Gail Matson. I thought that was kind of cute little sticker there um, and then I have a little Tim Holtz a Dodge ticket behind the butterfly and then inside here I have some tags a Tim Holtz journaling spot and um, another little tag that I layered on a bunch of elements on it. I love that girl and her little lingerie. She's so cute. A little photo corner and a phone. And then this tag folds in half. And it's a newspaper ad. I thought it was really cute. A sewing ad from one of the paper lines. And again, a Tim Holtz, a Dodge ticket. This is Trust. So this is a pocket. And then on the last page... Um, I added this uh, stretchy black trim that I got at Hobby Lobby um, a while back. And um, I made a belly band to go around the back page. And then I um, connected it. I burned the edges to kind of curl it under and kind of seal it so it wouldn't get rabbly. And then I connected it with a big giant brad. And then I have some tags that I'm... They were just plain tags that you get at your office supply store. And I glimmer misted them and did some stamping on them. And then put some silk ribbon in the tops. So I have a chandelier and a flourish. And then there's that hero art stamp. I don't know if you can see it, but I love that stamp. And another one that I glimmer misted with, gosh, I have no idea. Antique brass and Santa baby and a bunch of other colors. Pearl. This has got the English ivy on it. Tattered leather. And there's another stamp the clock and a flourish and a chandelier from the Tim Holtz stamps and then for the closure here again I didn't velcro this one because I had a heavy button brass button that I had uh, glued on there and then inside is the photo mat this is plain for pictures and journaling so that just goes back in there so that was the last page and there's the back so there's my mini album, my envelope mini with all my combination graphic 45 mixed paper.